Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Fatal Frame 2. We've been running around the Kiryu house and trying to recreate a doll, possibly to resemble a zombie. Doll's head? Doll's right arm. I suspect we're missing two pieces, the doll's left arm and possibly the eyes. So what I'm going to want to do is head to the storeroom with the window, first floor. Which means we're going down. I'm doing this just to save time. A little fetch quest, I don't feel like looking for every single storeroom in this house. Okay, now where are we? Storeroom with window. In here? No. Tell me it's not all the way down here. Good. Aw, oh, come on, how far could it be? Good. Okay, that's three doors away. I guess four, including the little thing. Alright, fine. Let's do it. It's a long way around, but it's actually only a couple of rooms. I'm telling you, this atmosphere is oppressive. Okay, we're doing it right. And as a matter of fact, I even hit a save room right before it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save just for the sake of saving. There we go. And just like that, there's only one door left. Here we are. This should be it. Oh, had I already checked here? Maybe I only get the parts in order. I had thought I checked there a little earlier. And there's the second floor storeroom. I know I've been in there. In that case... Oh, wait. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just the storeroom. Let's try that. I'm so easily disoriented. Where is the storeroom, anyway? It's a first floor storeroom, what do you want from me? Am I missing something? Did I, like, miss a door? I don't see any place I could have missed. I mean, I guess there's a sort of dead end over here, but, uh... Eh... Well, let's see. Where have I checked? There's the second floor storeroom. I know I've been in there. So that's the... I got the right arm. Hmm. This is going very well. I got the head. I got the right arm. I suppose I need the left arm. Maybe that's what it is. I'm checking the guide to save a slight bit of time. I got the right arm. I got the head. It says first floor storeroom. What do you want from me? Also, you like looking at that creepy freaking head for a long time like that? I'll check this little corner, but I don't think there's anything here. Staircase hallway. Family altar room. Sealed room. Entrance. Hanging doll room. The regular tatami room. Tatami room hallway. Deluxe tatami room. Clock hall. Twins room. Doll room. Ugh. No wonder I didn't find it. For God's sake. Well, that's actually also remarkably easy to get to. It's a long way, but again, it's only a couple of rooms, so it's not as bad as you might think. Also, I hate that cloth room with that creepy freaking peeking boy jumping out at me. God. Alright, so I guess there's only three pieces, no eyes to worry about. I guess I should have guessed by the picture of the doll's head having freaking eyes. Alright, once again, just making sure I'm doing it right. Okay.
Ugh, the projector room. Yeah, that's what I need. Whoa. Oh, duh. That's that's my hand. She's in the doorway. Ugh. Go away. Azami Kiryu. Bingo! Oh! You don't need a substitute for me. I am part of Akane now. I am one with Akane. Kill it. Kill that stupid doll. Yeesh. Now you have both arms and the head. This must be all the doll parts. Well, that's good. The game even is generous enough to tell me. So now I go to the sealed room, which is the other side. Down here, I believe. There it is. Okay. So I head up. Around. Not a very big deal, really. You may have noticed this game doesn't really push the random encounters. Most ghosts you fight, I think, are scripted, if not all of them. So if I'm not supposed to fight a ghost, I probably won't. So I think we're going to have a pleasant and uneventful walk to the next area. Let's see, I'm going to sneak through the save area. Oop, ah. Sorry, I'm falling back on 2D controls. That's why I just randomly turned around like that. That ah, oh God. I'm just waiting for that kid to come back out, even though I know he won't. So down, down, dooby doo, down, down, comma, comma. Moving on through. Corner. Here we are. <laughs> Taking a sweet time to open that door. I've mentioned this in the first game, but that really is a creative way to, uh. Ooh. I guess that's, that's my hands just helping me find out where to go. But like I was saying, that, that really is a creative way to do the load screens. I really respect that. It doesn't look like a loading screen, but you can kind of tell it is one. Okay, show me the sealed room. Now which way was it exactly? Oh, two doors from here. One. Ah. That ghost freaks me out just because it's so silent. But then again, she is helping me out. And I'll take that help when I can get it. Oh, the door shutting just snaps me out of it. Oh, I can see the shimmer from here. Ah, now I wrong, wrong button. I wanted to see if I had that zoom feature, and I pressed R1, which is also the shutter. My mistake. Oh, hey, this is where that burn mark was. Whoa. Twins facing each other. Design plans. Open the doll's eyes and give the Shrine Maiden a soul. When the two Shrine Maidens face each other, the bridge through the underground opens up. I've used one of those wind-up clocks imported from the west for the twin Shrine Maiden mechanism. The Kiryu Shrine Maidens move right doll to 3 o'clock and left doll to 9 o'clock. Okay, so they face opposite directions. Right button. Right doll 1.5 hours forward, left, point, left doll 1.5 hours, hours forward. And the left button, right doll 1.5 hours backward, and the left dial 3 hours backward. When they face each other, the earth bridge that connects the houses will be passable. The Tachibana Shrine Maidens. Move the right doll to 3 o'clock and left to 9 o'clock, and then etc. etc. When the Shrine Maidens face, the sky bridge that connects the houses will be passable. Who oh boy. And chard notes, okay, let's keep going. The doll's soul is needed to make the mechanism work. I could create the other parts again, but I can never duplicate that soul. I can't let that hellish creature get its hands on the soul. The soul is the key. I have to keep it safe with me. 
Hmm. <laughs> the eyes seem like they're looking this way. Ugh. Die. Okay. Well, way to scare me. I'm out of here. to me right in that direction too. <laughs> Let's do it. I see no problems with this. Oh. Come on, tough guy. Where the hell did he go? Oh, hello. So he's one of those kinds of ghosts, huh? Screw this. How do you like me now? That did nothing. Did you hear that? Oh my god! Wow! Ah, uh, it didn't really hurt. Is that a... Screw this! Get out of here! Oh, it actually stops it. Oh. Gotcha, sucker. This guy's tricky. Dude, come on! Oh, that was my moment. Oh man, that thing totally seeks. Uh yeah, piss off. Come on, tough guy. Ooh, shakalaka. I cannot see this guy. Oh, ooh. It really is pretty cool how the dolls fall down once I hit him with a zero shot. Oh, in your face! That should do it. Yeah, you're sorry. Piss off. Gla oh, glass eyes. There we go. Note five. First, I have to kill the doll by hanging it. Oh, that explains why these hanging dolls are hanging. Then I must throw it into the Hellgate. It knows this and is controlling Akane, trying to kill me. I have to throw it in, even if seeing the Hellgate blinds me. Jeez. My daughter must die again, and Akane must relive the pain of losing her sister. If we didn't have this ritual, no one would have to feel that kind of pain. So he's a somewhat sympathetic character. Oh, hello. Switch. Oh, I could, oh, I could equip three lenses at one time. That way... And a spirit orb. That way, check the symbol on my lower left. Oh, nothing's happening. Let me do this. Equipped functions. No? Oh, power up lenses. Here we go. Equip. I don't know. Slow and... Stun. Whatever. So now that I have that, go to my camera, and now look at the lower left symbol. Ching, ching, ching. Which, that is really convenient. They don't have to go to the menu to mess around. It's really more of a convenience function, and I appreciate it. Function power up. That's good for one. Uh, add spirit orbs. Ah, jeez, I don't know. One at a time. I mean, what, am I, what else am I gonna do? Well, now that I have the eyes, I go to the doll room. Which is up here? No. Man, this game is just giving me the runaround, isn't it? 
Alright, fine, I'll bite. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, pfft. This is the right door, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake, I'm a friggin' nut. Back out here. Oh, that's the other side of that. Okay, I see. There we go. Creepy dolls, man. That guy knows what he's doing. I was waiting for those things to fall off, too. This is the family altar room, right? Oh, the entrance. Oh, I can't even go. I'm an idiot. Bad sense of direction or excellent troll? You decide. Back into the doll room. Other side. Ugh, have to look at those hanging things again. I gotta say, that doll maker was tricky. He really was. Sending those things at me. It's hard to fight that all at once. Now, I do believe I want to go all the way around. The doll room is in the upper right. Okay, so I will go to the left and take the long way around just because I passed through the save point that way. Here's the real qu- Why do you kill? Why do you Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hey, 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 what, what did I- What did I do to hurt you? Okay, okay, that missed. <laughs> so did she. Sucker. Not funny. Even less funny is the fact that I have no- Oh, wow! What the hell? That's different. No wonder I didn't see her. Oh, don't open your mouth, you little- Yeah, cry a little more. Ooh! Look at that. One combo, she's done. Stop laughing! I freaking kicked your ass! And stay out. Lunatic. Oh, I better be careful. I only have 28 herbal medicines left. On Nightmare Mode, those things probably go away so fast. Yeah, unlike Fatal Frame 1, Fatal Frame 2, I believe, has a hard mode. Well, it definitely has a hard mode. I'm playing that in my parallel playthrough. And a Nightmare Mode. Oof. Hard mode, I'm really not seeing too much of a difference in damage. I guess a little bit of a difference. Nightmare mode is probably ridiculous. Especially with those mourner ghosts that do the forehead combos when they just flail. That's gotta be ridiculous. Okay, all the way around. Time to build ourselves a doll. This house is a little too obsessed with dolls. It's un it's off-putting. You insert all the men, and you hear the sound from the box behind it. Oh, I can't even look at it. All right. The device seems to be working now. Okay, uh, just for the sake of time, left, 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 right, right. That is so creepy. Ooh, shimmering. Oh my god! That is not fair. That, no, that is not fair. This will be hard to fight just because they're so close. Ooh! Ah, I got a little too quick. Okay, I thought I saw another one. Come on, sucker! Whoa! Got you off! So there are two of them. 
Why do I kill? Who's the one trying to kick my ass? Get over here, you little twit. Partner in crime aside, this one's actually remarkably easy to catch in a fatal frame. Now, do I have to fight her doll? That's the question. Nope. Pale purple. Cool. That is not a ladder going below the Kiryu house. I guess that's the Earth Bridge. But first, let's listen to the radio. Anything else besides that? No. Ugh, stop asking that. That's it? That actually is pretty unsettling. Um, hmm. How far am I from a save point? Far enough that I don't feel like going back. Let's go down. A wooden ladder. Let's climb down. Because that's a good idea. Oh, jeez. The cave appears to continue on the other side, but the path is blocked with fallen rocks. There must have been a cave in. Oh, this scenery is all too familiar. I don't like this. Oh my god. This is Fatal Frame 1. The answer is... Oh, bad. Oh, God. Walk away. Walk. Oh, crap. Well, the water is right there. I dropped the camera obscura and somehow also the flashlight. Huh. Huh. God damn it. Chapter 7. Sigh. I'm gonna get this item and I'm gonna save because it's a dramatic stopping point. I know this is a relatively short installment, but I mean, with a moment like this, you gotta stop now for added effect. My apologies, but I think you understand what I'm trying to get at here. Woo. This is going to be a tricky one to get out of. How will we do it? I guess we'll have to find out next time. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We picked up the last couple parts of the doll, fought the doll maker, fought the girls. Girl and doll. And... We dropped the camera. We dropped the one freaking thing we have against every enemy in the game. And we didn't pick it up. To be fair, though, picking it up involves running right into the insta-kill ghost. Stone mirror be damned. We will die if we touch that ghost, so... Okay, but how are we going to get back there? Also, no flashlight. Screw the Kurosawa house turning it off. Now we don't have a flashlight anywhere. The next installment might just be the most difficult one yet because we are completely and utterly defenseless. Until next time, everyone.